एग्जाम अ वर्ड दैट मेक्स पेरेंट्स शिवर एंड गिव स्टूडेंट्स फीवर सेवन आउट ऑफ टेन स्टूडेंट्स एंड नाइन आउट ऑफ टेन पेरेंट्स आर ऑलवेज केयर ऑफ द एग्जाम्स बट वाई फॉर वन सिंपल रीजन देर आर फोर इंपॉर्टेंट पिलर्स ऑफ एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन एंड द स्टूडेंट्स आर लैकिंग इन एनी वन और ऑल ऑफ दैम हे दिस इज भुवन धनेशा अ मेमरी एंड स्टडी स्किल्स कोच फ्रॉम ग्रोथ विद्यापीठ एंड द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ वर्ल्ड मेमरी स्पोर्ट्स काउंसिल फॉर महाराष्ट्र and today i am going to discuss something so amazing that will not only release all your tension and worry about the exams but also help you make your next exam the best exam right yes in the comments if you are already excited to learn them i will share four most important pillars for preparation of any exam be it school or college exam university or competitive exam unit test or final exam by the way the third pillar is actually going to surprise you How many of you have experienced that before the exams you remember everything but the moment you enter the examination hall you are blank and the funny part is once you step out of the exam you start recollecting all the answers now this is common right it has happened to you your parents and many people around you and no amount of preparation or practice or positivity helps you during this time why because you are missing out on one or all the four pillars of exam preparation which is making your exam not so good an experience the way a car cannot run without four tires a building cannot stand without strong pillars the exam preparation is also incomplete without these four pillars let's find out which are those pillars and how to fix them first pillar is revisions the formula is quite simple trust me students who revise more score more We had done this research some time back with 120 students of 10th board exam and the students who did more revisions scored more marks than those who revised only once or twice what was more surprising was this fact few students had scored in the range of 40s in their 9th standard and they were advised to revise more number of times and surprisingly they started scoring 60 to 70% in their prelims exams of 10th this goes on to say that ultimately the winner is the one who revises more definitely there are exceptions who read once or twice and still they top the exams but when in general multiple revisions is always a better and safer strategy let's go to the second pillar that is writing practice i remember my professor when i was studying in college he was a well respected and a successful professor students used to love his style of teaching and we used to ensure never to miss his lecture he always used to tell us if you want to easily score better than your last exams or you want to be much ahead of other students then the easiest way to achieve this is by indulging into daily writing practice this is a major pillar when it comes to exam preparation this would be my pick of the pillars if i had to choose one out of these four pillars simply because we have written exams i've said this on many occasions that you should never take writing practice for granted you never know this one thing can become a major deciding factor for you how many of you have felt the brunt of not being able to complete the paper on time and it hurts even more when you remember everything which you were supposed to write but still you could not why does this happen for the simple fact that you did not do enough writing practice now i know some of you will say sir i have done no practice of writing at all write eureka in the comment section immediately if you feel that yes now you are realizing the importance of it and it has clicked in your head it should be your daily routine at least before 15 days of the exams to do the writing practice every single day also try to do recollection writing practice that is recall an answer or two or maybe a topic and write it without copying it from anywhere it gives a triple h effect it makes your hands become more comfortable to write lengthy answers it gives your head your memory a good exercise to recall fast and write faster and it heals you from all the anxiety while you are actually writing during the exam so what are you waiting for write write yes in the comments if you will start writing practice on a regular basis third pillar this one is an amazing one a full dress rehearsal have you heard about this term you would have heard if you have ever done a stage performance stage artists do a full dress rehearsal before their first ever show in front of the live audience during the stage rehearsal they wear the same costume and perform the entire show as they would perform in the actual show only difference is that there will be no live audience rest everything remains the same they perform at a stretch as if it is the actual show 
it helps them to be mentally prepared for the show they mentally get hooked with the flow and the internal coordination this gives them a lot of clarity and confidence can we apply the same formula in exams yes we definitely can because according to me the exam is also a performance only the medium is different and like any other performance we mentally go through the same journey the nervousness fear pressure excitement and everything is the same whether you take a written exam or you do a public speaking from stage so what can you do before a few days of exams you can actually take a mock test at the same time of the exam let's say the exam is from 11 am to 1 pm so you will also take that mock exam at the same time you will start by playing an exam bell you will sit at a place in the house where no one can disturb you during those 2 hours you can even wear the uniform or the clothes which you will wear in your class and you can add as many elements of the actual exam hall which you want to like doing the mock test with your group of friends a chair and a table if possible see if someone can volunteer to be an examiner mobiles will be kept aside and it should give you the exact feel of the exam see if you can have similar looking answer sheets and supplement sheets as you would get in the exam you have the same set of stationery which you would be using in your exam remember everything happens twice in the world one in your mind and then one which happens in the physical world do you know there are so many artists who rehearse for 6 to 8 weeks and even more before the actual one mega show why would they put so much of efforts before a single 2 hour show because they know they should be at their best on the day of the show if they are able to entertain and impress their audience in those 120 minutes their life will change forever in terms of future opportunities branding and popularity similarly if you can also do such a full dress rehearsal our mind will be much more prepared for the d day because any performance is more about your mindset and less about the actual physical work and here we go for the final pillar the fourth pillar and that is the most underrated one any guesses it is relaxation we always feel that exam preparation means effort hard work stress sleepless nights and hunger strike because you eat your lunch in the dinner right well you will have to go through all of this if you are doing last moment studies those who study in advance do not have to go through this suffering if given an opportunity what would you choose one day before the exam sleepless nights by moving pages after pages without knowing exactly what you are doing or be completely relaxed and enjoy your favorite sport or a movie obviously the second option right well that level of relaxation is possible to achieve if you prepare in advance if you follow all the above three pillars that will help you to be extremely relaxed before exams why is relaxation important before an exam because relaxation is equal to recollection the more you are relaxed the better you will recall generally we are stressed before the exam and it reduces our ability to recall the right information at the right time i have experienced and i know if you adapt these four pillars you are going to be super relaxed during your exams coming out with flying colors do comment and share your views practice these pillars tell me what difference it makes and i shall get back to you with new ideas in my next videos and until then let's make our study our body